Hello and welcome to our seventh Navigate Rebar Discovery session where we'll be taking a look at our new rebar collision feature. Rebar clashes can cause serious problems on site leading to unnecessary bar congestion and expensive rework. These problems are much more significant with the larger diameter bars that can simply not be moved or sprung to avoid other rebars. Bar congestion can also lead to issues where there's not enough space between the rebars to pour and agitate the concrete correctly. Fortunately, modelling the rebars in 3D does allow us to visualise the rebar arrangements much easier than if we were still working in 2D. However, it can be quite time consuming to manually check all of the relevant rebars for clashes. So our new rebar collision feature has been specifically designed to allow for efficient checking and clashing of rebars directly in Revit. Let's now take a look at some typical examples. So I'll begin by switching the view and we'll just go into a normal 3D view. Now going back to what we were saying about congested views and congested models, you can see some of the problems here. We've got quite a lot of rebar going on in this project, so it's going to be very difficult, even in a 3D view, to manually check for potential clashes and collisions. So let's look at our Navigate tool in action now with one of these foundations. So I'll start with this one here. Now we can either select the reinforcement first, or we can select the host, like this, or hosts, and then we can go ahead and use our rebar collision tool. In this example here, you can see that there are no clashes or collisions within this particular foundation. And this could be based on some of the settings in Navigate Rebar. For example, we will be able to set a minimum bar diameter that we want to clash against, and also we can set tolerances and so on. Let's now look at some other elements. So, if we look round the back here, we can see that we've got a ground beam and two foundation pads. So, I'm going to select all three of these elements over here. And again, notice I'm selecting the hosts. And again, on the Navigate Context panel, we'll go ahead and select Rebar Collision. We can now see that some clashes and collisions have been found. Now, in the Rebar Collision report, you can see here that if the All Collisions node is selected, all of the rebars are selected that are actually colliding or clashing. However, if you want a little bit more um, of a specific view, we can start to drill down into the clashing pairs. And of course, underneath each of these clashes here, we'll see the rebars that are in that collision. Now, as we do this, you'll see that Navigate is selecting and zooming on each of these clashing rebars. So, for example, if I go back to the first one in here, to help me visualise this even more, I can go up and actually use our Isolate tool over here. And you'll now see that everything is isolated in the background. Similar to all of our other Navigate Rebar tools, this is a transparent command, so it means that we can actually operate and use Revit, switch between different views whilst our Rebar Collision Report is still open. So looking into this, we can clearly see here that we do in fact have a clashing element in here. Now, if I close down the Rebar Collision Report dialog, and I'll go ahead and actually reset our isolated rebar, so we'll do that. We can retrospectively check for these clashes after we've closed down the report. I'm going to go ahead and use Color Rebar here. And in the Rebar Parameters drop down here, we'll go ahead and use one of our Navigate created rebar parameters. And we've got a new one in here that will actually check for reinforcement collisions. So we can see here that we've got NV Rebar Collision and NV Rebar Collision Indices. We'll come back to this one in a minute, but let's go ahead and look at our NV Rebar Collision parameter. Looking in here, we can obviously see now that the colliding rebars are shown in orange. So I'm just going to change the colour here to have that visualised in red. And then the good ones I'll visualise in green. And of course, we can go ahead and save this as well. So I'll save this one and we'll call this um, Rebar Clashes. And now looking into the model, I can now very clearly see all of the rebars that are actually colliding and clashing. Now, like I've said, this is based on some settings that we can actually configure in the Rebar Collisions option. If we go down to the Rebar Collisions panel and we have a look at the collision tolerance, currently I'm running on a tolerance of 6 millimeters, And here I'm clashing all the bars that have a diameter greater than 10 millimeters. Of course, I can change any of these settings as required. Another thing that the rebar collision tool will do is if you have two parallel bars that are lapping but they're not actually displaced, so technically they're clashing, we will ignore that. So let's just have a look at some of those situations. So you can see here I've got these uh, rebars over here, and if I zoom in over here, 
I can clearly see that I've got another set of rebars here that are actually clashing. And again, just to help us visualize this further, we can go ahead and isolate those rebars, like so, so we can inspect this in closer detail. And of course, you can see very clearly now that those rebars are actually colliding. However, you can see that the Naviate rebar collision tool is not reported on that collision. And of course, a lot of the time, you might not have the time to physically offset these rebars so that they're not colliding, but we just simply want a lap in that place. So that's quite a nice feature. Okay, so I'll close down the color rebar dialog. And again here, we'll actually uh, reset our isolated rebar in here. And we'll go ahead now and actually have a look at what happens if all rebars in a set don't clash. So looking around here, we can see that we have some varying reinforcement, obviously in a rebar set, and we've got a single rebar here that's actually clashing. But of course, it's not clashing with all the rebars in the set. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our rebar collision tool and I'll now make a selection set of these elements and we'll click finish. Of course, Naviate now reports on the clash on the collision between these rebar objects. And if I now close down the reports dialog box and I select the rebar set that's been clashing in here, looking into the properties, we can see now that we've got NV rebar collision parameter, which is obviously colliding. So that's what we use the color elements to visualize. But equally here, we can see that we've got our NV rebar collision indices. So currently we only have bars two, three, and four that are colliding with this bar here. And that could be quite an interesting report. Of course, if we've got all the bars in the set that are colliding, then we'll see that as well. So if I pick this rebar set here, I can see now the indices are all in collision. So I know that every bar here is colliding with something else. Okay, so we mentioned at the start of the video that the important thing here is where we've got bars of larger diameter that are colliding, they can really cause significant problems in the project. So let's now change the rebar collision settings. So again, in the rebar collisions panel, we'll change the tolerance now to zero and we'll set the minimum rebar size for clashing to 16. We'll then go ahead and clash all the rebars in the project. So to do this, we can select our rebar collision tool first we can then window select everything in the project. And then we'll go ahead and select finish on the options bar. And we can then see the rebar collision status, check in all of the clashes. Of course, we can see various different clashes around the project now. And what we'll notice here is all of the rebar sizes here are from 20 to 25. So these are the significant clashes. And of course, we'd want to inspect these and resolve these. So again, we can use the rebar collision report to actually select the clashing rebars and zoom to them. But once again, we could also use our color rebar tool. So again, on the rebar tab, we could select color rebar. Again, in the rebar parameters here, we can go down and select our NV rebar collision. Or of course, I can just revert back to my saved version inside here. And we can now see all of those colliding rebar. And as we've said, we could now start to resolve some of these clashes. So as we've already said, the bar congestion and clashes can cause significant problems in the project. And Naviate Rebar, along with our new rebar collision tool, will help resolve these problems. Okay, hope you enjoyed that and look forward to seeing you in our next discovery session.